How's it going? Enjoying the pipe outside? Today is September 30th. Tomorrow is my favorite month of the year, October. Halloween's coming. I'm excited. Always post a video for Halloween. Love it. Um, throughout the year, I'll switch up my tobacco. Now, I, I usually like laying one cue. And some of the Viking blends, um, I, uh, the, the, the everyday tobacco, I've smoked pretty often. Uh, also, the Louisiana Red and all that, I smoke pretty common pretty often, too. But, uh, I switch my aromatics up, uh, especially come fall. Usually in October, I'll start breaking out the seasonal aromatics, I consider them. So, this video is going to be on my favorite top five um, holiday season, like October, November, December tobaccos. And, um, They've aged pretty well. Most of these I've been having for about a year. Um, some, maybe a little bit more. But you put them in these little mason jars, thanks to Mutton Chop Piper. <laughs> I've learned that they hold pretty well. Now I do go, I do go once probably every, mm, maybe three or four months, I'll check them, right? If they start getting too dry, I'll put them in a Ziploc bag and, and wet a, uh, a paper towel with distilled water and put it and put that, squeeze some out, put it in there, blow some air in it and let it set overnight and then it moistens it back up again. So I try to keep them moist, right? Because who likes tongue burn, right? All right. So. One, two, three, four, five. Start with number five. C and D's. I never pronounced that right. Cornell and Dell. Cornell and Dell. Or Delhi. I never, I never get it right. But anyway, um, old jolly old Saint Nick. It's a ribbon cut. Uh, flavoring is. Orange and ginger. Very good, cool smoke. You can smell that ginger in there, man. I love ginger. I eat a lot of uh, stir fries and a lot of Asian uh, uh, meals I cook. And I love using fresh ginger. I also make my own fresh ginger bill. That's that's freaking amazing. Uh, all right. Moving on. Uh, a little, oh, yeah, a little honeybee. Honeybee likes my, uh, my tobacco. Go on, girl. Go back to your hive. Go on. All right. Number four. Sutliff Black Spice. Sutliff Black. Look at look a little honeybee on me. Yee -hee. Come on, girl. All right. Sutliff Black Spice. Where was I? Cinnamon, nutmeg, it's black cavendish. One thing about the, one thing about the Sutliff Black Spice, it's not overpowering, it's real subtle. The longer you smoke it, the more you taste the cinnamon and the nutmeg, but you gotta smoke it, you gotta puff it and smoke it slow. That's number four.
moving on to number three. Number three. Number three is Hearth and Homes um, Eggnog Pipe Tobacco. I tried this. I can taste the eggnog just a little bit, but it's flavoring of eggnog, rum, cinnamon, and nutmeg. All, all the stuff you'd put in your eggnog, right? Including the rum. <laughs> You definitely get all the spices. Good clean smoke. It's not overpowering. That's what I'm it's what I'm smoking right now. It's not overpowering. Very good. Next in line. Next in line. I mean, next month is October, so of course, you know, it's going to be Sutliff Pumpkin Spice. This I, I've 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 smoked a couple of ounces of this. <laughs> then you get that pumpkin right off the bat. Flavoring is pumpkin, all the spices that would go with like pumpkin pie, you know that? Like uh, it's got cinnamon, nutmeg. Sometimes I think I taste a little vanilla in it. Very good. Very good. Good October blend. Final number one. This tobacco, this tobacco, I waited a month for back in a year ago when I ordered it, and uh, I tell you what, it was worth the wait. It's Strauss Tobacconist, and it's Sleepy Hollow, and it's it's all the spices, um, vanilla, cinnamon. I taste. Um, Maybe nutmeg in it, and sometimes I think I taste like. Uh, sometimes I think I taste like pumpkin or, or or apple spice or something like that. It's kind of hard to tell. It's 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 so many different complex flavors in here that it's really hard to narrow them down. It's like one puff you get something else, one puff you get something else, but it's uh it, it's it, when I ordered it, it was hard to get. You had to order it almost like a month in advance. The man, the room note on this is amazing, but the the flavor is like like I don't know if you ever smoke if you smoke cream barley. The flavor is just boom, but there's a drawback is that if you smoke this and you smoke it hot, man, the casings the casings and the toppings will gurgle your pipe. So you gotta smoke it slow. You gotta sip it. So that's still my top contender and my favorite so far. Nothing's knocked it off the uh, knocked the champion down yet. Strauss Tobacco Sleepy Hollow this is my number one. So you know you like aromatics or you want to try some fall aromatics. Get time for like October, November, December. These are the ones I'd recommend. 